they are kind of like my Clifton's, but with the extra cush. The extra cushion. Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Hyped by Me, Allison. Hyped by Allison, if you want to say it all together. I hope you all are doing well. We have a fun running related video today. But you know. This video doesn't go fully towards runners because everyone can use this product that is active, that walks, that hikes. And whatnot. Before I let you know what it is, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give me a big thumbs up and follow my Instagram. Okay, so let's get into it. The product that we are going to review is a Hoka running shoe. Just to give you a little heads up, we are gonna be reviewing two other pairs of Hokas in the next couple weeks. I am lucky to have received three pairs of Hokas from Hoka. I have not ever run in any of those styles. Typically I wear the Clifton's and just to let you know, before I wore Hoka running shoes, specifically of course the Clifton's like I said, I have never loved a pair of running shoes. And now, guess what, I'm in love. I've only worn the Clifton and a couple of the trail shoes, so it was exciting to get three pairs of different shoes. And of course they are all neutral because that is the type of shoe I need. And amazingly, I I used to have to wear inserts in all of my running shoes because of my arch, but with Hoka, I have not had any problems not wearing inserts because they are so supportive. The cushion is just amazing and at the same time, not too heavy, along with the heel drop. That is one of my favorite features. And just to explain to you, heel drop is the amount that a shoe drops from the heel to the toe. So high heels have lots of heel drop. Your typical running shoes, like I used to wear Mizuno's, they have a pretty high heel drop which tightens your calves, as you can imagine. And the Hoka has about a four or five. So I will be telling you specifically what the heel drop is like for each of these shoes. Today, we have the Kiwana. I've done about two or three runs in them because I wanted to kind of get a feel for them on different days and different trails, different roads and whatnot. Wanted to make sure I had a good and dynamic review because every day is not the same when you run and you notice different things on different days, depending on how you feel, so on and so forth. I absolutely love these shoes. The only thing I would say that I noticed right away was the weight. If you don't know already, the Polka Clifton's are 7.2 ounces and these ones are 8.4 ounces. So that is a little over a whole ounce and you wouldn't think you wouldn't notice something. But you really do. Especially on days that your legs are a little more tired. So that was the main downfall to these shoes. Otherwise, I absolutely love everything about them. We're gonna go into a little more detail, but before we go into detail, I just wanna touch again on the heel drop. The heel toe drop on these are five so it's usually four or five. You usually don't like to go above six, but typically Hoka's don't. So that is amazing as well. Along with keeping your calves a little bit looser, you're able to strengthen those calves and feet a little more with less of a heel drop because you have more mobility in that ankle. When you're sitting at a higher heel drop, you're more so running on your toes and your hip flexors get tighter because you don't have as much mobility in your hip flexor to push off and have your leg go back. Imagine yourself in heels. If you're a guy, imagine on your tiptoes. And when you walk like that, your leg does not extend as far back. So a lower heel drop is amazing because it allows more mobility to your hip and your ankle and your calf, which will eventually make you a better runner. So the Kiwana has features that make it inherently more stable. One of these things is a wide base, as you can see, nice wide base, and of course the colors are adorable. And it has Hoka's active foot frame that allows for a moderate amount of stability that will work for mine and whoever else's neutral gait, which I always wear neutral shoes. So I am just gonna throw up the specific measurements on the screen so you can take a look. I have already talked about the heel drop and the weight in ounces, but here you can see the volume and the spring measurement. You can also see the stability level and the amount of cushion. And as you can see, this is plush 
cushion, which I definitely felt. I would probably wear these shoes on a nice long run because they are so stable, very, very supportive, lots of cushion for a long, long run, especially if it was on the roads. I typically run on trails, which I don't always wear my trail shoes. I typically wear my Clifton and now this one because they are not super technical and I like the extra support. This shoe would specifically work well for the roads and or long runs on the roads. So I really am enjoying these shoes. They are kind of like my Clifton's, but with the extra cush. The extra cushion. They're the perfect width and they just feel amazing. Like they're gonna last for a super long run. I honestly already feel like these are my new favorite hokas. I am gonna pop up a couple of the features of the shoe on the screen and kind of go through those. So they are vegan, engineered recycled jacquard mesh. Not sure if I said that right. They have an extended heel pull, which I loved. Gives you more support in the back. So it has a new lively CMEVA midsole foam. The tread is awesome too. Along with the colors of the tread, you can see it's kind of like, they made it like a swirl. So they have a swallowtail heel geometry, which I had to kind of use my brain to figure that out. And as you can see, it's kind of like, like a tail. And this, I can feel adding extra support, especially for the arch. Not sure if that's what it does, but I feel that it supports the inner part of my foot more because of that extra little hip. And an early stage meta rocker. Meta rockers help you to rock through your stride, which allows you to have a better push off. So this has that, which I definitely noticed. And it has a durabrasion rubber, which means it is very, very versatile. And you could probably run tons of miles in this because it is so durable, high quality, and of course adorable. So when I looked at the features and benefits, it gave me some more information. I'm gonna pop that up on the screen as well. We already know that it's vegan. And it also says designed for training and the gym. So when I think of training, I think of running. So if you're on the treadmill, if you're on the elliptical, if you're lifting, or if you're headed to the gym for some strength training after a run, these are great for that. And it's glide. I definitely felt like I was gliding in these mostly the first time I ran in them because they were brand new and it was just a new experience and I was amazed at how good they felt from the cushion to the meta rocker to how they looked. I felt like I was gliding. So back to the cushion, these have a signature cushion and a very smooth ride. So these come in two color combinations, this one of course, and the other one is mainly black and white. I will pop it up on the screen for you. I prefer this one, but I would always go for black if this wasn't an option. I also wanted to mention that the width was perfect reminded me of the Clifton I am kind of picky with the width I like to be able to move my toes and foot around squished on the sides I don't have a super narrow foot I don't have a super wide foot but I like to have room in my toe box and the toe box in these was perfect and again, to go over the specific features, the swallowtail is actually designed to absorb impact. So for me, it did that, but it also took the stress off my arch because it is on this side. The mesh here is actually made from recycled materials. This new midsole foam is designed to provide a lively, responsive ride, which it did. And the early stage meta rocker sits right in here, is like I said, to provide a smooth toe off. So heel and as you get to this point helps you push off into your next step. Overall, I would give these shoes an 8 out of 10. I absolutely love them. I do feel like they are a bit heavy. That was the only feature that got me. But I think they are made to be more supportive and more bulky because they are made for longer runs and cement or blacktop surfaces in which I'm not always running on. But overall, I will definitely be using these for my long runs. I highly recommend them. Like 
you know, I absolutely love Oka. I really hope that you enjoyed coming along with me and listening to this review about these amazing running shoes. And again, you don't have to use them running. Hoka works for the gym, for work, for walking, and so many other things because of their durability, their support. I've even seen many medical professionals wearing them because they have to be on their feet all day long. And these are the shoes that keep them injury free. I know that I've been more injury free because I have worn Hoka's. You may have to try a bunch of different Hoka's to find the one that works for you, but that is why I'm here to give you a nice review so that you know a little bit more about the Hoana. We are going to set this aside, put it back into the box, and we are gonna close out this video. Don't forget that we have two more shoe reviews coming. And if you are interested in Hoka, stay tuned because you will learn a lot and you will be able to decide maybe what shoe would work best for you, or at least get an idea and go try it on. Don't forget, check out Hoka.com, check out their shoes, maybe get another look at the colors, and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, give me a big thumbs up, and follow my Instagram. And remember that Hoka's are literally the best running shoes, for me at least, but I was able to convert AJ and my sister to them and a patient or two. Give them a try because if you find them, they will help you to stay hyped.